Hey y'all, um, welcome to another one of my videos. Um, I appreciate everyone who watched my one last time. Um, we'll get there, you know, we'll learn and we'll become better, right? That's all we can do. So today I have a pretty easy look, maybe like a little Valentine's-y kind of like, um, so yeah, it's something I've been wanting to do with a really cool white liner. I don't know if it's going to work. I have no clue. Um, so we're just going to get started. It's, like I said, a pretty easy look. And yeah, um, I hope everyone's had a good week so far. And with Valentine's week, Valentine's week, Valentine's Day coming up, I hope everyone just has a really great day. And Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I went ahead and did my eyebrows, primed my eyes, and put my first layer on my eyes, which is exactly the same way that I did it last time. So um, I figured I would just go ahead and do that beforehand. And so we can just jump right in to today's look. Um, I do have a mirror here and I continue to look at myself. I apologize. Um, so we're gonna do a fun pink look today and I think I already said that <laughs> but so I love pink pink is my favorite color um I tried to do the best I could on explaining who I am and things about myself but it's not fun talking about yourself at least not for me it's not something I enjoy um but yeah so good I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my Lisa Frank Morphe palette and then whenever I was uploading the video, I didn't know that if I said that yes, like kids could watch it, that or it was for kids, that it would take the comments away. So my bad, but um, I'm learning and won't do that again. Um, so <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and do a like, just kind of a um, crease color. This is one of my favorite brushes and I think I got it from an ipsy bag and this is the Vasanti. um i just call it a shader brush but it's really a contour eyeshadow four brush but it's one of my favorites <clears throat> and i apologize my allergies are really bad the weather just keeps changing um oops so this one is what i'm gonna go into it is called puppy love Let's go ahead and take it. And I will speed up through some of it so you guys don't have to sit there and watch it like crazy. I normally use, I think I normally use the James Charles palette. Um, but I'm just a little over the palette. It's just so big. It's so big. <laughs> Great, we are done with that part. So as you see, I just did <clears throat> like a crease blender. I don't know why I put that in there, I'm gonna need that. <laughs> of all my brushes, well not all of them, but I brought them all in my little Lisa Frank brush carrying bag because I kept forgetting them last time and I didn't wanna do that again. So I'm going to take this Royal in a Launch Nickel a medium shader brush I don't know I don't know where I got this from either <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dip into this one dashly and then on top I'm gonna put Persilla on top so that's like a glittery I hope that looks good together because well, that's all I brought with me oh yeah that's perfect And I might just take it on my finger to put the shimmer on because that'll be the best thing to get the shimmer out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's really pretty. The fun Valentine's eye. Okay, and then I have these little like 
it's dirty so I'm gonna show you this side I have these little um cotton rounds that are washable that I like to use instead of using like um the ones you have to throw away so what I do is it's wet so I fold it in half and I'll take it like this and that's how I did my little last time I definitely went higher on this side so we'll just match it no props no problems over here okay so let's let that dry and I have this one I don't know if it's gonna work this is a liquid liner from Colourpop it is in the shade Graceland but it's white so I looked at a picture I like to reference pictures because that's just the easiest thing to do and she did not have like a liner on her lid she just had lashes but I'm not putting lashes on today um, I'm getting some really cool ones I'm so excited um, and I'll put them on once I get those so I'm just gonna do I think a thin line on my lid I messed up but I think it's okay <laughs> I mean you can't really see it on film but I did mess up <clears throat> okay wish me luck okay okay My mirror is right here. So I'm just going to do um, a really quick line and then I'm going to go and fix it and then we'll come back. But this is going to be how I'm doing it. And then I want them to meet, I think. Yep. Okay, so that was just the gist of it. So I'm going to go ahead and go and fix it. And then I'll be right back. So as you saw, I just took the little pin. And I did a very thin line. Just kind of, like I said, um... I have my hooded lid so I just went a little bit over you can kind of see where it creases right in there and I just went very lightly over it um, to have that look so that you can be able to see it so I'll be right back and then we'll continue the makeup look okay I'm so happy with how this turned out I've never been able to do it because I never had the right thing and this one went a little crazy but I do have a scar in my eye so it does that from time to time but I'm so happy I love it I kind of like every time I see it it reminds me of a of a um it's like why is it so loose of a um like a neon look and I really really love that and it was so much faster than I was expecting it to be So now we can jump into the face. Chacha. -cha. And my face is so dry right now. Um, I have a new cleanser and it might be a little too rough for my skin, but I just wanted to try it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use a different primer. I actually really like this primer. I just do not like the way it smells. It is a very, strong smell but I really like the way it looks mixed with the foundations so I put on my head 
forget about that much because I don't need too much. <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to use this foundation. It is so pretty. Um, it's really not my color, <laughs> but it is so, so pretty. And I got it at Target whenever they were on clearance. Um, but yeah, it's Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. This is in the color 350 Natural Tan. And it says it's a luminous natural skin finish, buildable, buildable, light to medium coverage, long wear. Um, which is what I really like. So I'm going to pump it on the back of my hand. And it's actually really thick. So to me, I feel like it's more of a medium to full coverage. Like, I'm not going anywhere. I seem to have moved further. Oh, wait, I think my mirror fell. It's not really my color. But it's, okay, I think it's a little too dark for me, actually. Oh, is it? On there, it looks way too orange, but in person, it looks a little too orange. <laughs> but I think it oxidizes nicely. And I'm going to use a beauty blender today. This is actually, <clears throat> I guess, a sponge. So dirty. This is from the Aesthetica Cosmetics. This is something my sister got me for my birthday. Um, and she's, well, she did like um, best beauty brands or items from Amazon for my birthday. And this is what I got. So this is from last year. I'm gonna have another one. I don't really like it. Okay, so it literally just came off of my nose. That's weird. Ooh. <laughs> Lips are really dry. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Maracuja Glossy Lip Oil from Tarte. This is really nice. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and put the powder on. I feel like when I put the powder on, it helps, but it really set really nicely into my skin, except for on my nose. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Press powder. Honestly, I'm using this because I have it, <laughs> and I want it to be done. You know what I mean? Okay. Elf bronzer. This is the primer infused bronzer, forever sun kissed. You know, honestly, I don't know if I'm using this right, but I feel like you can see a dimension already, like right there, than you would on this side. So I feel like I'm using it right. <clears throat> I had many people tell me how to do it whenever I worked at Ulta. Um, the Tarte, the Tarte um, rep, I'd be like, I need help, I don't know how to do this. I don't remember what her name was. I don't know if I ever knew her name. Michaela? No, that wasn't her name. I don't know what her name was. She was the nicest person. I set up my whole, like, little dresser area to be my backdrop. And I didn't like it at all. Um, I think I like this area better. Um, this is just above my bed and, like, 
I love um so many what are they called? Dream catchers. Um, and then my best friend made me this one, I think for Christmas last year. I just love it. A few years ago I was having like weird sleeping problems. Um, and I couldn't sleep and it was so bad and like I was like, I want to dream. I can't dream. I feel like something's holding my dreaming back. And now I'm like, oh Lord, please don't let me dream so I can get some rest. Because <laughs> now they're so weird. And I'm like, oh, like why? I just want to sleep. Literally my favorite blush, Mellow Blind. It's so pretty on. Um, but I'm not using it. Because I love Tarte blush. And... If I could find it, you might be using it. There it is. I'm like, oh, where is it? So I really like this. I love Tarte. And like I said, I got this, this, and my lip oil I put on, and something else with this. Um, it was like a Christmas package that my sister got me. Y'all know I love my blush. Um, this is my BH Cosmetics brush, um, the number two, which I I try, well I did, I made sure I found out what the names of some brushes were called and I made sure to link everything. Let me tell you, blush, um, okay, this is not clean, I'm not gonna lie, um, blush stained it, it's like a white thing, and I'm so sad, a lot of my brushes, like this is one of my favorite colors, the Char chartreuse, um, a lot of them broke around here, I still use them because, I mean, as long as they don't come off the handle, which I would probably still use them because I like them, but yeah. So that's the BH Cosmetics. Did I skip something and not tell y'all which one? Well, this is the Lisa Frank. I don't remember the names of them, but of course I will. It is linked on my other one, but I'll link it again on this one. I have it all written down what the names of these brushes are called. Because they don't say on the thing. <clears throat> and this one I got in a Ipsy bag. This is the... Miss Glam? I'm not sure. Round Blush P40. And I love it. I love any of the brushes. I have the rhinestones. I have a lot of them from Ipsy. And you probably can't see that too well. The glare. Yeah. Anyways, so we're going to dip into the ColourPop. I love this blush. Now, when I got it, it was broken, so I did fix it. Um, I mean, blush. I love this highlighter. The Super Shock Cheek from Flexitarian. Look at that. One little wipe. Of course, I do more, but. One wipe and you could be done. Could. Being that keyword. But yeah, so there's that. And we are almost done, my dears. Okay, so what I want to do is go ahead and add, um, um, I guess some pink might as well to my lower lash. So let's dip back into the palette. And we'll go ahead and put, we're going to do this one on the inner corner. So this is what I have on my lids before I put this on. And then I'll put, not on the inner corner, but on the inner half. And then I'll go ahead and put this one on the outer half. I'm going to use this on one of my favorite brushes that my lovely sister got me. It is an It Cosmetics. It is a precision eyeliner, which is what I was going to use. And I love it. It has a rhinestone off the end. And I really like the weight of it. Um, I do use this for glitter and stuff. Um, and it's just so... Like, this end is weighted. So, like, when you're holding it, it's just, like, a nice... Like, it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm going to drop it, you know, kind of situation. 
Got my whole hand in the orange. So I just add that there. I'm going to take the darker pink and I went over it a little bit so that it's blended and not crazy. Pretty. And to, I don't even know how to say that, Adamantium. I'm going to use the same brush. This is actually really blinding. One day I had put it on and I was like, oh no, because it was all I had on. What I like to do is I like to bring it up a little bit there and then down there. I'm like, I'm dipping in more and more times because, like I said, I accidentally got way too much the last time and I don't want it to be like crazy overbearing. Okay, that is good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to curl the lashes. And then I'll spray my face because I don't like to spray my face with mascara on. And then we'll be almost done. And I still don't have my mascara I want to use. It's in the car, so we'll be using the one I used last time, <clears throat> which is totally fine. It's still really good. It's just not my favorite, you know? Not the fave. But I mean, it's like really good. All right, so that is it for this video. We are all done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you try it. Um, super easy, I feel like. Um, easier than I thought it was gonna be and I love it. I love that it looks in neon my favorite thing um so just a fun valentine's eye that we have going on here and yeah i hope you all enjoyed watching and getting to know me a little bit more they'll get better and better as we go you know like it was weird the first time i was really nervous i really didn't want to do it but um but then i also wanted to do it so <clears throat> yeah um i'm hoping next week will be a really fun video um, I'll be trying out some new eyeshadow that I'm hopefully going to be getting. I'm supposed to be getting it on Monday, so we'll see if I get it on Monday or not. Um, but yeah, so please like and subscribe this video. Please, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, and hit the bell, I guess, for the notifications. And follow me if you would like to. Um, Instagram, Face by Moni. And yeah, I just thank you so much for watching. If you watched the last one, I appreciate it. Um, I know I don't have a lot of views, but that's fine, you know. We're getting there. And hopefully I do this one better where um, you can leave comments. Because I would love to see your comments and read them. And see what I can do better or what we can change. Um, but yeah, so just let me know. Thanks. Bye.